Welcome to the another video of Cricket Thrill. In this picture, Ian Chappell playing on a sweltering day in London as one of the hottest ashes that's played in England at Lords in 1975. Alf Valentine balls to Keith Miller, who plays the ball into the offside and runs. As he turns for the second, Gary Gomes and Sam Gullion realize a bail is missing. Appeal. Eventually, the nugget has to go. Barry Richards and Ali Backer carried off the fields after South Africa beat Australia. The margin in all four tests got progressively heavier. Nothing short of a shell. That was one hell of a South African team, paying special attention to the top and sides. Central Zone Captain Kishan Rangta watches as East Zone's skipper Pankaj Roy flips the coin before the start of the 1963 Leap Trophy quarterfinal at Eaton Gardens, Calcutta. Notice the big crowd in the background. Chandar Khan Pandit, he was former Indian attractive stroke player, wicketkeeper batsman. He is considered one of the best coach in India domestic circuit. Colin Melbourne's sparkling debut against West Indies in 1966, but later on he had just played nine test matches, scored 654 runs at 46.71 with the help of 200s and 250s. His best score was 139. He died on 28 February 1990 at the age of 48. Australian Jeff Thompson slinging hot action and his unorthodoxy speed made him fun to the photographers. John Reed, a colossal of New Zealand cricket, he played 58 tests between 1949 till 1965. He scored 3428 runs at 33.28 and also took 85 wickets at 33.35. A remarkable achievement given the relative weakness of the sides he had at that time. This is 1984 picture by judging by the expression on the faces of Joel Garner, Gordon Greenwich, Roger Harper, Viv Richards and Clive Lyle. Some England batsman has just had a lucky escape. Brian Laura's sensational innings of 153 not out taking his team to a remarkable victory over Australia at Barbados in 98-99. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.